When you're thinking about implementing one-to-one, -one, top of mind you must have a vision about what this means for your school, for your students and for your teachers. And envisioning that environment can be difficult. What's going to be the impact within the classroom? Really what you probably need to do is think about what you want your school to look like in five to seven years after your students have ubiquitous access to the technology. We decided to ask a few school leaders around the world what their thoughts were about this and how they'd been able to craft a vision that was appropriate for this access. Our view is that great schools can offer great exam results to students, which is fantastic and that's really, really important. But it's, that's not enough. They've also got to come out of the school as useful members of society. We feel that technology um, is such an integral part of our society that every single child, firstly, has got to be technology literate, but secondly, has got to have those skills, the social skills and the ability to survive in a fast-changing world. We're very interested in um, somewhat nuanced social skills. People need to be able to talk to one another, they need to be able to work in groups, they need to validate one another, they need to be able to negotiate difficulties with one another. So schools actually need to think about the fact that non-cognitive skills drives academic performance. By personalised learning, we uh, think uh, very much knowing the single child and, and uh, for each project, uh, putting up aims for, this, for the individual project, uh, f uh, which uh, fits uh, the child and, and, and the development of the child. Learning is about change. And so if you, are, if you have students in your classroom and you see no change in their knowledge acquisition or their skill development, then one has to question whether or not there's any learning taking place. We see that we have a dynamic tool within the educational process that really expands the ability of the traditional classroom to a whole different idea. Because now learning spaces are everywhere. You know, our mission says that we're going to successfully prepare all students for their future. It doesn't say we're going to successfully prepare some students or most students or just those students that come with certain, you know, characteristics. And as you know, not all of our kids, you know, get the minimum data requirements that, that we would want of a caring adult in their life, a safe place to live, a nutritious diet, you know, and, and access to resources. And technology is one of those. And that's why this board and this district is really focused to not just on equity, but equity and excellence. Well, I think what we're measuring, number one, is the confidence of the learner in greeting a new problem, a new experience, something that he or she has never thought of before, and really seeing and believing that he or she has the, the skill set to attack the new problem. <music>